It's your favorite YouTuber, Chess Monday, fellas, and welcome to this video. Let's get right into it. We created, we recreated Google Earth with this 3D model, this 3D website. Let's just get right, let's just get right into it. How did we create it? How did we make it? I'll show you right now through the code. As you can see on this blank space, we are in space. That's right. We've literally created Earth, guys. I literally created Earth, the planet Earth. Don't you think that this is awesome? Look at the texture. Look at the, look at the spinning around, guys. Look at everything. It's absolutely beautiful and stunning. This is a thumbnail. Oh, that's Africa. How oh, nice. How oh, nice. That's actually very nice. So let's just look at the code. What do we see here? We see a 3D sphere. It's just spinning around in space. We should probably have some stars in the background. I'll create that in the future. But let's check out the code. We have a 3D globe spinning around. Let's see how we made this stuff. So let me just uh, maximize the screen. First of all, we actually have... Uh, all the code inside a HTML uh, file called globe, spin globe.html. Now, what have you created here? We basically have some uh, some HTML elements, and we also have some CSS elements. That's the style element, and then we have the body in which we have the scripts. So we basically get this. We call, we give it a title of spinning globe with three. three. The canvas is uh, where we basically render everything, and we have the body where we basically grab this. We don't usually, we don't even uh, use the orbit controls. So we basically have this uh, free JS element that we basically gather, uh, and we do this by the script source, and that is why we can use all these functions and utilities that you see here, which are from the free JS uh, package. So that is what we get from this uh, script script source. So now we set up the scene. This is the actual code. This is the meat of everything. How do we set up the basic scene? Well, we have we basically in, instantiate a scene called new free scene, new free JS scene, a camera new free dot free JS dot perspective camera with a field of view of 75. We basically take uh, the whole window and divide the inner width uh, with the whole window again in a height. What else? We have the, the the renderer, so that is basically what allows us to display anything. We have the renderer that set size. We basically set it to the window, to the wind, the full screen of the browser uh, width and height. And then we basically append all of these things. So what do we append it to? We basically append it to the body child. That is what you see over here. Now we add a sphere. That's it. That is what you see spinning around. You have the cons globe geometry equals new free that uh, sphere geometry. That is this is basically where we create the figure. This is why we add the texture globe texture. I basically have this uh, globe that JPG file. Uh, we use the free JS texture loader and we load what we load the globe dot JPG file. Then we have the glo uh, globe material, and we basically add, uh, we, we basically map this globe texture, this one, to the globe material. So we basically say instantiate a new globe by what? We've created a globe from these two things that create from both the geometry and the globe material that creates the mesh. And then we add this globe that we finally created. And add it to the scene. You always have to add anything to the scene when you create it. Uh, otherwise, it's just instantiated and you won't really be able to see it. Position the camera so we can see the globe actually. Yes, we basically put the camera Z position uh, to 10 plus. It basically means 10 plus forward on the Z axis. And then we add a render loop to spin the globe. That is what that is what you just saw before. Const animate. This is an arrow function. It's just a shorthanded, shorthanded way of writing it like this. It will be the same. Sorry, const animate, uh, const function, function animate. It will be the exact same thing, guys. But uh, in modern JavaScript, you basically create arrow functions. It's just a shorthanded way of doing everything. Request animation frame animate and then we want to spin the globe We basically take the globe that we created over here and we add it to the scene We take this globe that we just created instantiated We take its rotation on the y-axis and then we just spin it around this plus equals is basically the same as writing 
Um, yeah. Plus equals plus one plus. Sorry, uh, number plus plus number equals uh, number two or whatever, whatever. Yeah, sum of number. It's basically the same way of writing this, but this is just a shorthand way of writing it. Then you say render dot render, and then we want want to render what every second scene and camera, so it can actually display the animation. And that is the code. And, and yeah, that's actually right. We also call the animate, this animate function. So that is the beauty of it. This is the meat of the code. So thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment down below. See you in the next one.